this vlog and um, I thought I would start the vlog here today because I've just woke up and yes I'm a mess <laughs> but it is so beautiful the sun is shining through the window the kids are still in bed um, and I just thought I'd start the vlog off here that is the cat um, I've got a huge random haul today like a massive one I actually was going to do it as a separate video but I wanted to um, come on and speak to you first because one I've had a parcel arrive one I've had a parcel arrive that I really wanted to show you that wasn't here when I did my haul um, second of all just a little bit of a catch up because I've been a bit quiet over on my Instagram so if you're somebody who follows me on Instagram you'll have noticed I've been a bit quiet um, mainly because of what happened I mean I don't want to go into it too much but basically I was a victim of fraud and I've had just a hell of a week um, trying to get it sorted obviously it's scary it's concerning um, I am so vigilant like so so vigilant the scary reality is it's happening more and more so my advice to everybody is just please be vigilant please check your online banking all the time and um, it was just very unfortunate when it happened to me as well because of the time of the month because it was when all my direct debits were due to go out and um, see if i can balance you on something it was just a bit of a disaster really but the good news is, is it's been accepted that it's fraud and i've got my money back because we took a hell of a lot of money and um, but yeah, that wasn't a great start to the week because that happened at like, the start of the week and <sighs> didn't set the tone. <laughs> so unfortunately, I've been doing like the games room and I haven't filmed a lot of it because I've just been crying a lot and sweating a lot because it's like 30 degrees here right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm feeling loads better and it's just one of those things that happened. Anyway, we move on. I really wanted to show you this. So... This is from a company that I've wanted to shop at for quite some time. I've seen them advertised on Instagram a lot. Suck it in, wasn't I? Um, but what I will say is I messaged them after I'd ordered and asked if they got a, I could get a discount code from my followers and they got back to me. And you know what? I really like that sometimes when it's bigger companies um, and they get back to the little people. Like, you know what I mean? This lady was so lovely and she was like, oh, here's a code we've made for you for your followers. So I will leave it here. I think it, I think it's being Mrs. Dudley 20. Hold on. Being Mrs. Dudley 20 for 20% off. Okay, so um, let me show you. So I'm sure you'll have heard of them, but oh my God, the packaging is right up my alley. Abbott Lion. Um, and I bought, so they had like an offer on a discount, um, which is good now because I've got my code now forever um but yeah how gorgeous is this packaging it's white and gold who loves white and gold juliet loves white and gold so the first thing that i picked up was well i say the first thing these two necklaces are pretty much the same so you get like a little thank you card a little cloth to clean your jewelry this is so lovely and it's in like tissue paper okay so it's like this sphere necklace. Now I liked this one so much. I really wanted to do some layering. Um, but I loved this one that much that I actually got this in two different sizes. So there's no point in showing you this one. It's exactly the same. It's lighting is terrible. Sorry, I thought I'd sit here thinking, you know, it's so lovely with the sun coming through the window. But didn't think it through, did I? I picked up a J initial. Yeah, that's like the J initial. And then I also picked up, they also do your birthstone in a heart. So I got this one, which is for me, which is June, and it's um the mother of pearl for my for the month I'm born. Yeah, so I got the J and the heart. Should I pop them on? I either put them both on one necklace like they've got in the picture, because it was the picture that drew me in, suck it in. Um, or I could put the one on the longer chain and one on the shorter chain. My hair's completely fell out of the bubble. Okay. 
Oh, I love it. Yeah, I do really like that. So pretty. Like I said, I could wear like the one on the one chain. <clears throat> and then maybe the other one on the shorter one. But I really love them. They do so many gorgeous pendants. Like I was there forever. And because they had the set, like this discount on, um, loads of the stuff was sold out. I'm just doing my two necklaces. Excuse the state of this. Um, but I just thought I'd show you this quick hack. So if you've got two necklaces like this and you want to um, layer them, but you don't want them to tangle and you also want them to like adjust together, here's a really good tip. So what you want to do is you want to attach if I move it down a bit, you want to attach this one to the other necklace and then this one to this necklace and then when you attach them I'll show you what happens. I hope you can see. So this is what it looks like layered. I still don't know what I prefer, whether I prefer them on the same chain or not. Um, but then when they're together so now that they're like this on the separate chains what you can do is if like you pull the one the other one goes up at the same like rate so you can swap them round and have them that way round so yeah I don't know if you can see but you can have them the same length or like if you just basically if you pull the one it adjusts the other so it's a nice little hack I have to have a play around with them Ooh. hi guys you can all the state of me. You can all the state of the house behind me, to be honest. Um, but I just thought I would give you an update on the loft. Um, because it's been a while since I last updated you. And there's been a bit of a change, probably. So, um, let's go and have a look, shall we? As you walk in, this is loads different already. So, in here... This has all been, the ceiling's been taken out. It's now all boarded. You can see. And then this is all like being boarded as well up here. So this is just like a really nice high opening now. And then up we go. So all this here, we're gonna have the balustrades done obviously. And then this has all been boarded now, so there's so much more progress. Um, all the chimney breast ends have been plasterboarded, ready for skimming. And the same over this side. It's all plasterboarded, ready for skimming. Um, so we've still got to have the floor down, but we're having the plumbing done. So what we're going to have is... I'll show you. We're going to have like a little false wall built here for that radiator. And then the same over the other side. But it's massively taking shape got to have some more plasterboard put down for the lights like a a flat bit but like all that is enclosed now and it's looking like so much more of a room so we'll have the banisters here to like here um but yeah it looks so different and they're still i think the only problem with like lofts spaces is there's just so many like little bits to do um but like we'll have so much more space these are going to be like little storage cupboards in here um for like christmas decorations things that we this is the large side over here so i'll show you from this angle yeah oh, i can't believe how much more of a room it's looking now like now the plasterboard's gone on it actually looks bigger because it's not as Higgledy piggledy, I've got to take all these tiles downstairs and I'm. Does anybody want to come and do that for me? Because I'm literally dreading it. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really pleased. It's looking like more room. And like I was just about to say, it actually looks bigger. We've just got to have that bit plasterboarded there. Um, but yeah, it's taking shape. So eventually the boys might actually come up here. But for now, um, I think I said this is going to be, I think this will be, I don't know yet. <laughs> one of them's going to be an office side and one of them's going to be a filming side. I think we might film over there because the day bed will go against that wall there. I don't think the day bed's going to go this side because this chimney breast sticks out a bit further. So what I might do, I'm not 100% sure yet, but I'm thinking that I might utilise this corner for a desk. Um, because there's not really a lot you could 
put there so who knows still got loads to go but yeah this is the loft update hi guys welcome to haul time please ignore the state of me as well i've been up since 4 a.m um and the window's open as well basically um i've been back at my 5 a.m gym starts last week i started so i'm still like getting in the routine and i didn't sleep well at all last night i was talking about it on my instagram today about how my anxiety has just been through the roof the last like couple of days and i don't know whether it's because i don't know what it is i think it's because we're having like the work done in the loft <laughs> this sounds so stupid but i'm having to like liaise between the builder and the plumber and make big decisions and I'm so not used to it because normally me and Matt do a lot of the work ourselves. So if we're unsure on something, we'll take our time. We'll like discuss it out and blah, blah, blah. But like when you've got people that need you need to book in and you haven't made decisions and you're stressing out and I hate confrontation. And although Aaron is really, really lovely, I'm always scared to be like, um, so could you, you've not done this? Could you do this? <laughs> I hate it. I absolutely hate it. So, um like you've just seen the loft is looking good i'm really really pleased but i think i was just i had to have a conversation with him today about some work that he hadn't done that we discussed but i think he might have forgotten about and um yeah i was up all night i saw every hour of the night <laughs> but i feel a bit better from going to the gym this morning anyway so that is that um so yeah let's get into haul time right today's haul time is a good one it is a good one. I've got B&M, Home Bargains, and where were they from, Junior? They were from B&M. B&M, Home Bargains, and a couple of bits from Hobbycraft. So I'm going to start, start. Oh, this is from Aldi, by the way. I bought this to add with four. I don't know whether I showed you. Did I show you the little bits that I picked up for my friend's little girl? I'm not sure whether I did. Uh, hold on. Oh, they were just in the gift drawer. I don't know whether I've shown you these, but I picked these up for my friend's little girl. She's just had a little girl not long back. And I thought everybody buys clothes, and I thought I'm going to get something like a little more useful. So I've got this little cute cloud um, plate. This was £5. And then I also picked up Mama's little cloud um like a silicon cup with straw that was five pound i thought how cute for a nice little set and then also look at these a two pack of baby cutlery set um like sorry about the cars the window's open i'm gonna go shut it now um a spoon and a fork two pounds how cute and they're like got little bumps on them for their mouth like to chew on um, and then i picked this up in aldi yesterday this was just 2.99 but it's just one of those that's not my books but i thought i got the little piglet one because i thought it went really cute so yeah i bought that like as a little gift for my friend who's just had her little girl and um, we still haven't seen them yet um she's probably going to be about 12 by the time we actually get around there but yeah i just thought i would show you because i can't remember whether i have shown you this in my last haul so yeah i picked up those okay so that was the only thing i got from alda to show you so in hobby craft i picked up right don't judge me there's halloween and autumn stuff in here but i saw these online and i wanted to go and see them in person because they looked lovely online but you know when you're just not sure but they are cute so this is the these are plush pumpkins so this one says gray but it's almost like in real life um it's definitely cream it's definitely a cream color uh it's more like a grayish i would say so this is the does it say what inch this is because they're different centimeters the different sizes this one was the large one so the biggest one they did so i got that one but then i also picked up the smaller one in this tan color like orange um burnt orange would you say now looking at them they're not the best made things but they were really cheap i think this was six pounds and this was three pounds um, and they do ones that are even smaller as well but i picked up these because i thought how cute are they and i love that they're plush um, and i thought these could go nice in my bedroom or in like the boys bedrooms and um, no 
in my bedroom because I just loved the colours. I really wanted to get the little tiny one in like a burgundy, um, but they all, they had them in like the baskets by the till and they were a bit like, some of them weren't great. Some of them had the stalks missing, but they're, they're brilliant. Like I love them, they're so cute. And it's different to having like the ones, these would just be a little bit easier to store as well, being like squidgy. So yeah, I picked those up. And then what else did I get? So I popped into, I didn't get a lot in home bargains, so I'll show you quickly what I bought in home bargains. And it was just more of these storage boxes. So I went in for the large ones and they didn't have any. And I'm absolutely gutted because the large ones are only five pounds. They're cheaper than anywhere I've seen. And I only bought two because I wasn't sure how many, whether they would fit in my wardrobe room where I need them. They bloody fit perfectly, don't they? But now there's none left and I haven't got them online. But I picked up two of this size. So these were 2 99 I believe. Let me just check. 2 99 this size. So they do an even smaller one as well, which I've got some somewhere for 1 99 These are the medium ones, which are 2 99 And then they do a large ones, which are 4 99 But they're so well made. They've got beautiful lids. It's like a basket weave kind of design. I think it says diamond design or diamond pattern. Um, but they're so nice and so lovely so I picked up two of those because they come in so useful for beauty products like when you're trying to organize um, like I've got the, one of the big ones for all my nail stuff I've got another big one for all like my hair stuff like hair dye and cutting stuff um, so yeah it's always really good to have things like this because I just think you can organize I like to organize in smaller compartments <laughs> so okay so next up, B&M. Do you know what? B&M come through with some beautiful things this time round. I'm not normally a fan of B&M. As I've said before, I'm definitely a home, go home bargains gal at heart because we just have a really good home bargains by us. But B&M came through. So first thing I did pick up, which was a little bit Halloween-y, they sometimes have these in home bargains as well, but I missed out on them last year. And I was absolutely gutted. But these ones seem better because the ones... I think in home bargains last year were like paper, like tissue paper. These look a little bit more, they look like they're proper like some kind of material. So these are hanging, sorry, these are hanging witch hats. <laughs> Gotta tell you what these are. These are hanging witch hats. Um, and my friend Jess, I think I've mentioned her before, she does the most amazing home decor and she does things that are like, they look really beautiful but they're good for the kids as well and she had these over like her dinner table and i just loved them so much so i've managed to get some this year and yes they're such good quality these are really good quality for the money so when i buy anything for halloween i like to try and buy things that are timeless so that you can use them time and time again <laughs> obviously that's what timeless means julia um but look at these these are really good they stay up on their own and then they've got this string and they've got, look at these, like little metal rings on the ends to hang them up by. They are so, such good quality and you have eight in there. There's eight in there for four pounds. So I'm really, really pleased with those. I'm so glad I picked them up. I know that it's really early, don't come at me. But the thing is, is with anything like this, Christmas is going to be out before you know it and that's crazy but it's not my fault like that's what shops do and so now if you don't get it it's gone so when i see anything that's my just one key like if you see anything just get it and think about it and you can always take it back but once it's gone it's generally gone so yeah these were the eight pack of hanging witch hats four pounds so next up i picked up some these were in the special buy aisle and these are cork placemats so i've got the round cork mats that i got from ikea and i think i've had some from home bargains in the past which are for like putting your pans on and things but i really really love them in the kitchen and these are the placemats which i thought were great because they're a bit bigger and these are actually really good because you could use them for the grill pan as well like if the grill pan's hot but there's a pack of four in here for three pounds they're really decent thickness can you see in the end there they're like a nice quality and they're a decent size as well it doesn't say it just says to clean wipe with a damp cloth do not fully immerse in water well obviously um so yeah 
picked up four of those for in the kitchen for my breakfast bar. Then, then I got this. Oh my gosh. I saw this on Instagram actually and I had to go and find it. It is this beautiful stoneware mug. Now Matt's going to kill me because I've got enough mugs. But this was £2.50 and it says me time. It's got this beautiful like speckled detail a gold handle and then this is embossed into the mug this is also like a different stoneware on the bottom so this is like more of like a matty feel and this is shiny but i just really love this and if i'm honest it's for instagram um but it's a really nice mug to hold um yeah i just really really liked it i saw it and i was like i need that two pound fifty it's just crazy i actually saw some and it was on a, i actually saw some on an instagram page which were almost identical to this, but they were £20. So, yeah, I was really, really pleased to pick that up. So, I've got that. And I like this because it's all year round, isn't it? It's not just, like, autumn. Anyway, next up, I picked up this. So, this is a set of three storage boxes with a bamboo lid. Now these are plastic, these are for the bathroom or for my makeup room, for in the drawers. I actually saw this lying about on its own and I was like, where is, how much is that? I couldn't find a price. Then I found it in the um, like kitchen oil. So this is a pack of three for five pounds with bamboo lids. Um, you get one long rectangle, this size, and then two smaller ones so they can stack on top of each other but like i say i think these are going to be shallow enough to go in my drawers in my wardrobe room um or in my makeup desk when it's eventually done when i actually buy a desk you know i need to actually buy one first um but that's that and then finally i finally got my hands on these i've seen these again on instagram i thought they were broke then um and this is a set of four glass storage jar jars you get two large storage jars with jars with cork lids and two small storage jars and um, that's kind of how they've styled it on there and I'm going to do it very similar with the cotton ball, the cotton pads and I've got some um, like reusable cotton pads um, that I bought from B&M which are white and beige so yeah I think they're going to go lovely let me just see if I can get these out to show you So these are like the little jars. This is the size of them. So that's the bigger jar. And those are the smaller jars. I just thought they were so cute. Um, this was £8 for the set. Um, and I really loved the little cork tray that it came in as well. I just really love that. I think that's again perfect for the bathroom. I know some people don't like having glass in the bathroom. But I do think that that will look lovely on a vanity unit as well. Um, but yeah, that's the last thing I bought from B&M. £8. So yeah that was my little random haul i hope you enjoyed it i just wanted to sit down and catch up with you because if i showed you the house right now you wouldn't even you wouldn't even believe me you'd be like juliet you've just staged that <laughs> it is so bad at the moment i have wanted to film i haven't uploaded a video since last monday um i wanted to film an iconic makeup haul i've got a primark haul coming i've got a shein haul coming i've got a um, I've got a couple of hair videos that I've been waiting to do, but I need to do some like overlay bits and I have nowhere to film. So I was filming in this room, which is our bedroom, which is nicely, freshly done. And then because we're having the loft done, they've moved everything that was in there in the loft into here. So quite currently, I have a fire door next to my bed. That is where I sleep there. I have to crawl into bed because I've got a fire door. And I didn't want this to be a mess in here, but it is. I've got paint tins a vacuum cleaner a piano like a keyboard a pair of crutches from when i hurt my ankle um you name it i mean can you see over there i don't know if you can actually see should i try and twizzle you so you can see the state of it in here like this and this is um and this is my bedroom and this is the tidy room in the house downstairs is like a bomb has gone off off and the kids are at home i've got the loft guys in it's just been a nightmare and i'm just counting down the, like it's horrible to say because 
I don't want the kids to go back to school. Like, obviously, I love spending time with them. But, you know, and it's just like, it's all too much. I'm trying to keep on... Yeah, it's just cut me off. Saying, bloody hell, Julia, even I'm bored of you. The camera's bored of me. Um, I'm trying to keep on top of filming. I'm trying to keep on top of glow up. I'm trying to keep on top of going to the gym because I've started my 5am starts again. Mainly because I think it's going to be best to do it now before the weather starts getting colder in the darker mornings. Try and get back in a routine after I'd had a few months off because um, I wasn't very well. So yeah, trying to get that done and then the lot, just everything. I'm just so overwhelmed. I'm doing the boys' bedrooms. That is just... I am getting there. I've emptied the games room. I've sold a couple of wardrobes. I'm ready to move the day bed now but we can't do that until the loft is done so it is literally just like so much going on right now and i'm very overwhelmed and i feel like i just have nowhere to film um and it's really <laughs> it's really difficult so this that's why you've got another vlog from me today because i thought i would do a catch-up because i don't want my videos to di die off but at the same time i'm really struggling to find anywhere to sit down and film hence me sitting on my bed talking to you looking like this after i've just come back from cleaning <laughs> but yeah i hope you have a fabulous evening whatever you decide to do or a fabulous day whenever you decide to watch this i really hope you enjoyed this video and i've really loved catching up with you guys i should probably do a live soon i think because i really like to interact with you guys and i think that might be something that we could do or maybe we could do a q and a if you've got any questions maybe you could leave them below i can always do like a q and a video because i haven't done one of those in a while but yeah i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and i would love for you to subscribe and stick around and until next time guys take care bye you said my world on fire you're